Hi and welcome to Gary Duncan Maths. Now in this Functional Skills Entry 3 Maths video, we are going to be looking at the importance of being able to read and extract information from tables. I think we should start by having a look at a typical table. So let's have a look at this statement. A group of people were asked whether or not they could swim. The table shows the results. So let's have a look at the table on the right here. Sometimes we hear these called two-way tables simply because there is information or data in two different directions. So across the top here we have information about women and men and down the side swimmers and non-swimmers. So when you are asked to make a table you have to make sure you have all the categories that you need. Going across the table these are known as rows. So we have a row containing the information about swimmers and another about non-swimmers. And going down the table, these are the columns. So in this case, we have one column with information about women and one column about men. So let's have a look at the information in the table. It tells us that in the women's group, we have 20 women who can swim and seven who can't. However, men, we have 14 swimmers and nine non-swimmers. So to extract the information you need, if you are asked how many men cannot swim, you would look down the side for the non-swimmers, across the top for the men, and you look down and across, and that tells us there are nine male non-swimmers. So let's have a look at a couple of questions that you might get asked from a table like this. And here's the question, how many people could swim all together? So in this case, you are looking for swimmers, which is this row here. And amongst the swimmers, there are 20 women and 14 men. So you would need to add these up, 20 plus 14, 34 people can swim. Another question might be something like, how many more women than men can swim? So now we are looking across the row of swimmers and it tells us that 20 women can swim, 14 men can swim. So to find out how many more, 20 minus 14, you would get the answer six. Let's have a look at another table. As you can see, the layout is very similar. We have rows. In this case, each row is representing a day of the week from Monday to Saturday and the columns are entitled Film Start Time and Film End Time. And the table is giving us information which should allow us to answer the question. So let's have a look. Ivan wants to see a film. The start and finish times vary each evening and they are shown in the table above. Ivan has to catch the bus home at 9.30pm. Which evenings could he see the film? Now, in a question like this, we have to look at the information and decide which will help us to answer the question. In this case, if Ivan is wanting to catch a bus home at 9.30 p.m., we need to make sure that the film has finished before that time to give him time to catch the bus. So on a Monday, it finishes at 9.10. That would give him time, as would Tuesday, where the finish time is 9.25. Now, Wednesday... The film finishes too late for him to catch the bus and the same is true on a Thursday. Friday he is okay, the film finishes at 5 to 9 and the bus isn't until half past. Saturday is far too late. So the answer to this particular question would be Monday, Tuesday and Friday. Let's use this same table as a summary then. So a table has rows and the rows have headings and information. It also has columns going down the page, which also have headings. And in the main part of the table is the information or data that you will need in order to find the answer. So there we've had a look at a couple of different types of tables, one where you had to compare the information in it or maybe add information up, and the other one 
where it simply gives you information or data which allows you to answer the question. Tables do come in different sizes and can cover a whole range of topics. All you need to be able to do is look at it carefully and understand which of the information you need to answer the question. I hope that's been useful. If it has, please do subscribe to my channel and if you hit the notifications button, you'll be sure to see all the new videos that I produce. Thank you.